All right, guys. Good morning. It's Christmas morning, uh, 2017, last week of this year. Uh, this year has flown by. I don't know if it's because I'm getting older or if the years are just going by faster. But, uh, you know, this is the last week of this year already, and we're already looking at 2018. So, uh, right quick, I wanted to show y'all where we at and kind of walk y'all through it, uh, through the hole. So, um, and as you can see, we got in fairly deep. Uh, boy, this is a sharp intake right here. Woo. Almost straight up and down right here. And that tractor climbs with no problem. And you can see, we're fairly deep. We ain't deep enough. We're maybe at the deepest point, maybe six feet. So, uh, but most of it's probably about five and a half. But, uh, the front end loader, as you can see, has been cutting it really well. But, um, so... Ended up having to come back quite a ways, as you can see where my mark is, and they ended up having to come way back here, so that it was a gradual enough drop in there to um, to get the tractor back out. I really want my eight foot, and being today's the last day uh, that I got time for this, I might be able to squeeze out, you know, a good two thirds tomorrow. But that's that's going to be real iffy. Um, believe it or not, I've been up since four this morning. Uh, that's usually about what time I get up every day. But, uh, you know, I got fish to feed and stuff and chickens to take care of and feed all before my day even starts for my job. And uh, then I had to warm up the tractor, which is for me right now. And I also need to do a grease job on it uh, because I didn't yesterday and I've been working a crud out of it. So I want to grease it up before I start today. So I'm going to try to do this as best I can. Um, I'm going to get as close to the eight foot as I can. Um, you know, eight foot was, was something I wanted to achieve. It wasn't something that was required in order to achieve anything. Of course, in, with thermal, uh, geothermal, the lower you go, the more stable the temperature is. So that was the reasoning for trying to achieve eight foot. But if I don't get eight foot, no biggie. Uh, you know, I'll deal with what I got. Uh, I'll square it off and, and flatten it out, and then I'll start laying some pipe. I definitely got to get that pipe laid today, uh, even if it's after dark, so that tomorrow, at the very least, if uh, I can come in, it won't take me too long to backfill it. Uh, I believe filling it in is going to be much faster than digging it out. So uh, I'll get the pipe laid, the first layer, and try to get it up and get the dirt on top and get the second one laid, uh, you know, even if it's close to dark or after dark. And then uh, that way, tomorrow, I can just run it up and then backfill it in, and then all I got to do is dig my cut once I got it backfilled in, and then run my pipe up in through there and into the greenhouse. So that's the plan as of right now. And uh, when I took this on, I knew I, with only three days, I knew I would be cutting it close. Um, you know, I just didn't know how, how this was going to work out. Never had to do this before, never done this before. So, you know, just kind of playing it by ear, seeing where it goes. Uh, let me go uh, grease up the uh, tractor and then uh, we'll get after it and see how far I can bring it. And uh, that's my work phone going off right now. God, they better not have nothing on Christmas Day for me.
right, guys, I want to show y'all something. I'm in here and squaring this up so that I can clean it out and then start digging my depth, try to get some more depth out of it. I'm right about five and a half feet, roughly, I checked across here. But what I wanted to show you is if you can see how this angles and slopes, and you can see it right here where I broke through. What I did was, is I set my backhoe up and I dug me one channel right out the middle and got it roughly where I wanted it. Then I started working my way back towards the corner. And when it does, when you do that, what it allows you to do, it's a called breakthrough. And some of this terminology will be different uh, in different places, but we call it a breakthrough. It allows that clay just to start crumbling uh, because you, you got a weak spot. You got a, a chink in armor, so to speak. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'll start working it back this way. Now, one of the things I'm doing is I'm taking my bucket and I'm coming along that wall. You can see the teeth marks square. And I'm hooking that wall. And what I'm doing is as this way. Because as you start pulling in, you're pulling away from the wall. So I use my boom to lower it down so that I get downward pressure and I extend my length so that I can try to keep it as square as possible. Now, for some reason, this control is acting up on me. Uh, my up and down, it, uh, you gotta find, it's got a, a spot you gotta find to get it to come up. This just started. Uh, as you can see, it sits a little off now, a, a different too. Um, so most likely I'm gonna have, end up having to have that valve changed because you gotta, you gotta wiggle it, wiggle it, wiggle it and, and get, to, get it to pull back up. So I'm fighting with that because without being able to pull up, when I get closer in, I'm, I'm, I'm digging deeper. Uh, so it, it's, a, it's a little bit of a fight. But, uh, but excuse the noise, I'm gonna put the camera inside the hole here and, and on this side and show y'all how I walk this side out. guys as you can see what I was talking about whenever you boom down with your boom you extend your length uh, so you can use that feature to add length to your reach without while you're sticking in shortening your reach at the same time so that you can get a good square cut uh, the square is I'm gonna get it uh, like I said I ain't no professional at this well I'm gonna take it and turn the track around and uh, scoop a lot of this out and put the funny loader, get much out and then start digging downward.
my guys, so let's take a walk through here. Um, as you can see, I kind of made a landing because I was getting so steep. I made kind of a landing right here so that when I come up on one stage, I flatten out, give it a little time to catch up, and then back up this, this area here. Uh, man, it's a beast of a little tractor. This, this is so steep. When I'm coming down here and I was catching that blade and scooping out, it, it was so steep that I had to tighten my seatbelt as tight as I could on my waist so that I wouldn't trigger the safety on this thing. So, but uh, as you see, coming down in here, we're right about six foot on this thing. But uh, since the backhoe control is acting up so bad i can barely get it to pull back up i don't want to get it stuck down in here if i can't get that backhoe up i can't drag it out so um you know given that it uh, it's acting up so bad i need to get that valve changed um you know uh i was scared of getting it stuck in here so this is gonna this is gonna be it we're gonna we're gonna call it right here uh what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna come from right here put a layer down all through here and uh, try to squeeze in 100 feet in here then come in with the dirt fill over it get it even with this layer right right about here along that plane all the way across and then come in and lay another layer of pipe across that and then uh, fill the whole thing in so uh, I wanted eight foot it's just not gonna happen especially now with the backhoe acting up and I'm running out of time anyway um, so given that I'm running so short of time and the rains are coming I need to get this thing going on already done so it's gonna take me the rest of the day just to lay the pipe get it up get the layers in and then get it all got because I got to zip tie all the loops and that so that's gonna take some time and I'm gonna put that on video for y'all uh, in case anybody wants to interested in doing themselves but uh, besides that that freaking tractor is a freaking monster that is a little beast I mean to, 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 to do this work uh, like this it's just an impressive um <laughs> the incline a couple of times because it's a little rough a couple of times i had to lock the uh, push in the diff lock uh to get both tires to grab because one would just spin but uh i mean come on man look at this incline on this thing and and this thing just it would just back right out of there uh especially with a bucket full and i i guarantee you uh a couple of them bucket loads was probably close to max lift because it took, you could hear, it took everything that little tractor had to, to lift that bucket up with all that wet clay in there. So, and then it just, just climbed right out this thing with it. Impressive. Um, so, I'm really glad I bought the tractor. You know, and uh, so far it has exceeded my expectations in every way. Uh, I can't wait until I get a bunch of the add-ons on it. Uh, income tax uh it's gonna make a big difference on this thing uh we're gonna throw all kinds of stuff on it as well as uh spend some money on the antique tractor as well so we're definitely doing some light bars and definitely doing a, a tooth uh bar on the front and possibly a thumb as well on the back hoe and um you know and a couple other little things i want to add to it but uh man that's an impressive little tractor um so but anyway for now, I'm going to take me a little break, uh, get everything set up to start, to, um, I think my hole's got a slight turn to it, uh, get everything to start to, uh, doing the loops, and then, uh, and then uh, once I get all that set up, I'll start the video again, uh, so y'all can see how I'm doing them loops, and get this thing all laid out. 